Well, after 95 days of striking, the WGA and the studios resumed talks today. Well, at the same time, thousands of writers and actors striking blocked off roads near mm -hmm. Universal Studios. KKL News' Nicole Comstock is live in Sherman Oaks now with what we're learning about that meeting, Nicole. Well, Pat, we're hearing that this strike is nowhere closer to being over. And now LA Mayor Karen Bass is getting involved, saying this strike is taking a major toll on Los Angeles and the issues at the center of it need to be resolved immediately. Hey, ho, ho. Thousands of writers from both unions, WGA and SAG, picketed outside Universal Studios, causing a traffic backup on Lancashire Boulevard. Others staged a boxing match on a picket line outside Television City in the Fairfax District. This is the Writers Guild of America, and the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers met for the first time in three months to discuss the strike. The sides are still really at odds on some of the key fundamental issues. Gene Mattis is the senior media reporter at Variety. The entertainment magazine reported late Friday that the hour long meeting between WGA chief negotiator Ellen Stutzman and AMPTP chief negotiator Carol Lombardini ended without the promise of any new scheduled meetings. Variety also reports the WGA refused to budge on its demand for a minimum number of writers on TV series and a minimum length of employment. Everything we've heard is that they continue to not be willing to consider that. The, the strike has not changed that. And the writers continue to see that as, you know, absolutely a fundamental item that they have to get out of this. The WGA is also fighting for residuals in the streaming era. The studios have previously said they've already offered generous increases, totaling a billion dollars with some residual payments. Picketers outside NBC Universal said they hope people are still paying attention. Listen to people when they say that they're being taken advantage of. LA Mayor Karen Bass issued her strongest statement so far, requesting both sides sit down and offering help, saying in part it is critical that this gets resolved immediately so that Los Angeles gets back on track and I stand ready to personally engage with all the stakeholders in any way possible to help get this done. We reached out to the WGA and the AMPTP for a comment but have not yet heard back from them. Reporting live in Sherman Oaks, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News.